Hi, how are you? How are you feeling, most importantly? Today, I would like to talk about leadership qualities. So, take a deep breath. Let it out. Take another one. One more. What does that do? That sets the tone for what you're about to hear so that you can actually hear it. And if you're not at a place right now where you can just relax and hear this message, then turn it off and wait till you have um, some time just to reflect and take in the words I'm going to speak with you today. So today, leadership qualities, as I was walking, as I just got back from a walk, I, I got to thinking about leadership qualities and what they mean to me. And so, of course, I love learning and I'm learning. So as I'm learning on my healing journey, I love to give you the tea so that you also can hopefully learn some lessons as well so that you on your journey that it doesn't take maybe as long as it would if you wouldn't have heard this video. Now I know it sounds like I cliche how I always say go inward make sure you listen to your voice but it's so true and when I think of leadership uh, qualities and values how many of us look at other leaders and other people and want to implement our want to make our lives like others we want to look like others we want to do what others are doing we want to have the money and the success that others have and we look at others for leadership qualities but we forget to remember where they come from where do they come from? You see, we can listen to messages about leadership and look up to Oprah and look up to all these people, which they're amazing, of course. But where do you think they got their messages from? And why do you think they're so successful in what they do? I can promise you it's, it's times that we don't see. It's times that they have went through situations and stuff that broke them down to their knees to where they had no choice but to pray or to ask for guidance or to tap into their knowing. You see, as we go through life, as we go through struggles, as we go through situations, we can either make it, let it make us, let it break us or let us, let it make us. So what I'm learning as far as leadership qualities go, learn from people. Yes, listen to seminars. Yes, uh, li listen to self-help motivational books and things. But also remember that sometimes you can get so much knowledge from so many people that your brain is on overload and you don't even know where to start. So today I want to help you out with that. I just always feel when I get a message that I am supposed to just share with you what I'm learning. And what I'm learning by that, and the reason I can talk about this, is because I've been there so many times. And still to this day, I can... I can get so much knowledge and think, okay, I need to go down this path and I need to go this way and I need to do this, that sometimes I it just gets to where it's like, which way, which way, you know, like I, I have so many things I like and so many things I want to do and things I want to say and be and become and sometimes I just don't know where to start. Can anybody relate? So today I want you to just be patient with yourself. And remember 
the leadership qualities that you're looking for to start your successful, amazing life comes from within. And then it comes with just doing it, just waking up and being your own cheerleader, waking up and doing that self-love talk that I always talk about. I love you, Ursula. I love you. Even if you don't believe it, take walks with your dogs, get out in nature, ground in nature, and breathe in beautiful sounds or smells and hear beautiful sounds of nature. Take your ear things all out, take them out, and get one with nature. Tap in to your leadership qualities, your still small voice that doesn't get heard because of so much noise all around and because you're listening to so many people. Where do you think all these things come from? People that invent things, people that do self-help talks, people that help and save the world and do all these things. They tapped in to their own leadership qualities. And sometimes they were told no many, many times before they got their leadership qualities recognized or paid for. You have to understand when you look outside yourself for what others are doing that you can't do if you possibly ever, you can implement, you can try to, you know, do, do some things that others are doing, but you're you and you have your own unique personality that nobody else has. Nobody else looks like you. Nobody else acts like you exactly the same. You are your own leader. So therefore, you've got to tap into your own leadership qualities by learning to love yourself and to trust yourself and trust that voice within that it will not lead you astray. And even though you don't understand it, you guys, I started this channel with nothing, nobody. And I was just tapping into this, I would like to be... I dream I'm a fashion, curvy fashion model. I dream I have lots of money. I dream that I am a motivational speaker at the point of having nobody. You've got to believe it before it happens. You've got to write the story as if it is. I would also advise you to journal. I've been journaling and it's really successful. And journal the story of your life as who you aspire to be. And so we don't have to stay stuck in our story of things that haven't been working for us. We at any point of our life can write a new script and a new story, explaining things as they are, they as they exist now. I am a fat curvy fashion model. I do make millions of dollars. I do speak. I am I do a TED talk. I speak all around the world sharing all the lessons that I've learned to get thus far. Teaching people how to overcome their weaknesses and gain their strengths. Teaching people not to look outside themselves but to look internally and to do the things every single day to be your own cheerleader and doing it scared and doing it with the unknowing of what's gonna happen and who cares, who cares. Do what you love, love what you do and don't care who cares. That's where that came from. Now you have to step into your life and do things without overthinking them. I did so many things, I didn't know what I was doing. I still do so many things that I don't know what I'm doing. I will never know everything. But one thing that is for sure is that I do things anyway. I don't let the voices in my head that tell me I don't know what I'm doing or this person could do it better 
get interrupt me any longer. I go with my daily knowing that today I am going to do, oh, this light keeps turning. I am going to do exactly what I'm led to do from day to day. And I don't know if we got tomorrow. And yesterday is gone. All we have is today. So I deserve to be the leader of my life. I deserve to be healthy, happy, successful, and worth millions of dollars. Drinking my water all the way to greatness and health and prosperity. changing my world every single day so that I can be and am the best person today. And like I said, learn from people and then take it and be your authentic self, finding your answers of leadership qualities with inside yourself and trusting and knowing that whatever you're great at, whatever comes natural to you, your gifts, your talents that only you can do because you're the only person that matters because you're the only person that you get to spend the rest of your life with. Knowing that we don't dim our lights for others. We don't mold our lives to fit in with anybody else. We will find our tribe when we are our true, authentic self. We will find ourselves when we silence our minds and go inward, asking for the answers every day to make yourself a leader every single day. Day. You have to understand, I was a shy little tomboy that had two older sisters and a really powerful mom. I never talked. I suppressed my voice. Oh, see what? See why light is so important? Do you see that? Did you see that difference when my light went out? Oh my gosh. So I suppressed myself for so many years that I believe that now it's my job to, to teach others how to be authentic and use your voice and get your own leadership qualities and do what comes natural to you and find a way to get paid for it. In this day and age, we all can work from home. In this day and age with the technology as it is, we can all work remotely. So I, I want to leave you today with, do you believe that what you can do is better than what anybody else can do? Your gifts, your talents are made for only you to bring to the world, to make yourself either known or heard or if it's a painting sought after fashion whatever comes natural to you some little quirky weird gift that only you can do prime example if you look on TikTok they're everywhere i get so excited when i scroll through there and see singers that aren't known yet and and you know crafters and whatever they do they, TikTok has allowed, and YouTube has allowed us to tap into our gifts and talents that only we can do. So today I leave you with, please put in the comments below your leadership quality that only you can do, that makes you unique and special, and then figure out a way to get paid for that. And I promise you, you'll never work a day in your life. And each day you will become better healthier, happier, more excited, and more alive than you've ever been in your entire life. So I love you for watching, and thank you.
please subscribe because winter's coming and vlogmas is coming and you already know nylons are coming and all that stuff because Ursula's learned to tap into all her gifts and talents and they are many. My leadership qualities are on fire. <laughs>